Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. If this video helps you, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and it really helps. Let's get to the video. Hello everyone, today in this video we're going to talk about how we can graph piecewise functions on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator. So on the screen we have a piecewise function in yellow and we have a piecewise function in pink. The one in pink is actually a more specific type of piecewise function, it's called a step function. So we'll graph both of these on the calculator today. So let's bring the calculator up onto the screen. So first thing we want to do is hit Y equals because that's the button we click to graph functions. And now we want to click on the math button. So now uh, we're going to scroll down or you could scroll up because piecewise is located near the bottom. And option B here is piecewise. So we're, going to, we're going to go ahead and hit enter on that. Now here it's going to give us a menu that asks us how many pieces we have. So for our first piecewise function in yellow, we have three pieces. So we can just leave that at three, go down to OK and hit enter. Now it gives us this template here that we can fill in. So these dotted boxes on the left is where we're gonna type in the function, and then on the right, is, the right of the semicolon is where we're gonna type in the domain restriction. So on our first example, we have two x plus one, and then we're gonna right arrow key over, and now we have x, so we can use our variable x, and now we're gonna find the um, inequality symbol. So to do that, we're gonna use test, so we go second math, and it gives us these inequality symbols here. Um, and so we want less than or equal to, which would be the, the sixth option here. So we can go down to six and hit enter, and it's less than or equal to negative one. So we're done with that first piece. So now I'm gonna go down, and I'm gonna go left to get over to my second piece, and this one is negative x plus two. Remember the negative button is down here at the bottom. This button over here on the side is subtraction. Don't get those mixed up. Now we're gonna use um, our domain of negative one, and then we're gonna go back to second math to get our inequality symbol. And now we want just less than. So that would be the fifth option. Notice how we can just hit the five key and it'll give us that less than symbol. And then we want our variable x, and now we wanna have another less than symbol. Okay, so less than, and it goes all the way to two. And now we're gonna go down and left to type in our final piece, which is just negative three. And we go right, and now we have x, is greater than or equal to, so option four here, and this would be positive two. So now once we have this, we have all of our information typed in, we can hit graph, and it shows us our three pieces, okay? So that's example number one. Now if we wanna go back and graph the step function, let's go back to y equals, and we can clear this out and it takes it all away. And now once again, we can go back to math, go up and go to option B, which is piecewise. And now notice that my second example here in pink has four pieces. So I'm gonna um, use the right arrow to change that to four, go down and hit okay, and now we have four pieces. So here we just have negative two, and then I'm just gonna go down so I can input these pretty quickly. Negative one, zero, and one. So now I'm gonna go back up and insert my domain restrictions. So for when y is equal to negative two, that's between um, when negative x is greater than or equal to negative six, and less than five. So we can go ahead and type in negative six. We're gonna do second math to get our inequality symbols. And we want less than or equal to, which is option number six. And then we do our variable, second math. Now we want just less than, which is option, option five. And then we're gonna go all the way until negative five. Now for negative one, we have negative five. And then we do second math. And once again, we want less than or equal, which is option six. We type in our variable. Once again, we want less than, so second math, which would be option number five. And then we're going all the way to negative three, okay? Then we want negative three to negative two, so negative three, second math, option number six, x, second math, option number five, and we're going to negative two. And then lastly, for one, this would be from negative two, and then we want second math, and we want the sixth option again, type in our variable x, Second math for the final time to get our less than symbol, which is option number five, and that's taking us all the way to zero. So now we can go ahead and graph it, and notice how we have our four pieces, but it's called a step function because those are just horizontal segments, and it looks like a series of steps, okay? So that's how you can graph piecewise functions on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator.